Hey guys, so I have a Sephora haul. Have you been watching a million of these videos already? I know I have. So interestingly enough, I'm not a big Sephora shopper because as you might know if you know my history, I buy a lot of my stuff um, through pro brands because I'm a professional makeup artist or I get a lot of stuff on PR and I'm just a naturally very frugal person. But lately, this last year, my makeup freelance business has taken off. So I'm really booked and busy and um, I will, I know a lot of these products like have been interesting me and they're really mainly Sephora brands, not really pro brands. Um, but I will tell you, so this is what I did. I will, I've been like adding to my cart and then if it's a, if it's a brand that has a pro discount, I just went ahead and applied for the pro discount. So like I did it for Urban Decay, they have 40% off. I did it for Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's 30% and I did it for Hourglass, which is 30%. I haven't heard back from Charlotte Tilbury, but I got Hourglass and Urban Decay within like one day of applying. So the rest of the things I got were because um, I could, they don't have pro, de pro programs or because they were out of stock at the actual brand site. So I only got 15% off. So that's why I was like, Ugh, I wish I had the 20% off. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Combination of all of the things I needed for my kit that I've been eyeing as well as personal travel makeup because I've been traveling a lot lately. A lot of these were influenced from watching YouTubers, specifically makeup by Nikki, Nikki De La Rose, I believe her name is, because she's like a pro artist and she's she just totally influenced me. So I have an order here, I said about 256, so not too bad because it's a lot of minis, but it's a lot of stuff. And then I also placed an online order just now because some of the stuff wasn't in stock. You know how it is before it be sold out. So I paid $144. So I spent $400. So I'm like, okay. And then I have a like a pending concealer order on Hourglass. And then Urban Decay, I wanted to get some liners, but I'm gonna wait because I got some Sephora liners. So I'm good there. And then I wanna do a, a Charlotte Tilbury order. And that's it. I am done with my kit for the year because I spent $500 at the Atlanta Makeup Show. So that should be it for the year for a while. Oh Lord, so much, but you know, you gotta, that's part of the business. You gotta reinvest into your kit. So let's go ahead and show you what I got. My, my daughter's in school. My son is downstairs. So hopefully I can film this without him interrupting. So Sephora was doing 30% off. So it was actually a really good deal. These, um, um, specifically the 12 hour colorful eyeliners. This is what Nikki Rose recommended. Um, and I got the ones that I really needed the most, which are black and dark brown. I've been having a lot of problems with my eyeliners drying out and it's like messing my makeup application up on clients because who likes a dry, tugging waterline or liner? It's just not it. So I swatched these in the store and Nikki recommended them and they are very good. So it was $11 regularly, but 30% off, even better. So it was like eight bucks. So I got the two probably most common color is tiramisu which is a dark brown which I love just putting on the lower lash line or is a more natural version of black and I got the black lace so if you're looking for a really good black I'm um, really good creamy um, long wear eyeliners I think this is a good option I was looking at drugstore but I was like seeing mixed reviews but I did get a couple from essence which are really affordable um, at the Ulta 20% off sale so that is pretty cool um, so I got like a nude one and like a dark eggplant um, and I need a white, but they didn't have a white eyeliner. So if you have a recommendation, let me know. Because I have um, I have one sitting in my cart, like at NARS and MAC, which I have a pro discount too. All right, I also got the Sephora Lip Pencil in the shade Molasses. This is the um, darkest brown, and I was I wanted to get this because this is really brown girl friendly. I have a lot of like deeper skin tone clients, and brown lip pencil is my jam. And I was influenced by... Um, Japanese faces, aka Simone. She's like the queen of ballroom, like makeup artist to the stars. I, I saw her do a demo at the Atlanta Makeup Show, and this is what she uses. So I was totally influenced. And I will definitely use that, like I said, on dark skin tones. I love a dark brown lip liner, it goes with everything. Okay, Fenty doesn't have a pro program, and Nikki Rose recommended this eyeliner. So this is for me. I've been wanting a um, new liquid liner. So this is the House Labs, and I'm like, the edge of my liquid liner pen has got kind of like stubby. It's not fine. So, and I've been wanting a good brown for everyday wear because I feel like the black is kind of a little dark for everyday. Um, so I got the shade 
um, in Big Truffle, which is like a dark brown. And she specifically re recommended this. This is not for my kit because I don't use liquid liners in my kit because it's not sanitary. I use the Inglot gel liners. So this is what the color looks like. So I'm excited to try that. You know, I gotta treat myself too. And like, I do my makeup way more now that I have clients. But if I don't have clients, I'll do my makeup. But now that I do makeup multiple times a week, I do. Okay, I was influenced also by Nikki to get the super fancy Givenchy, um, the powders Prism Libre, I believe, or Prism Libre. And I got the shades three and I got the shade five, which is like a lighter, pinkier tone and then like a yellower, browner tone. So um, a lot of people love these, like I know Michaela um, on TikTok. I got the minis and these are still 30 bucks but there's no pro program. So um, I'm like gonna try it on myself because the whole fact that it's fragrance has me worried to have it in my kit, but apparently they're, mir they're miracle powders. So we will see. Um, I got a mini milk hydro grip because I've been noticing that I haven't been priming my dry skin clients and I've been using the e.l.f. version of this and I really like it. I have like combo skin, um, but it, I got the mini size because again, I don't need a huge size. I get mainly minis for my makeup kit to make it travel friendly because this is like 20 bucks. So um, I know you guys know about Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Super viral. I also got um, the Rare Beauty Mini Luminizers. I got the lightest shade, which is called Enchanted, I believe. So it's like a pearl. And I got the bronze shade online because they were out of stock because I love putting a little bit of like, you know, the skin glass look right here. And I hate huge, chunky highlighter bottles. This will fit perfectly in my little makeup binder. I'm gonna just slide right in. Um, it's, it was like, you know, like a lippy book type of binder. I have all of my products and I don't need a lot. Like I literally just put a little bit here. So I got this for fair skin tones and I ordered the shade of flaunt for like bronzy tones for deeper skin tones. So that was a good size. And Rare Beauty to me is actually pretty affordable compared to the other lines. Also for my kit, I stocked up on two more shades of blush from Glossier. I carry these in my kit, the Cloud Paint blushes. I've been carrying them for years. I swear by them. They're way easier to apply than some of those super pigmented, high impact blushes like the Rare Beauty. So um, I got two lighter shades. I got Beam and Puff because I have like all the darker shades and like um, my fair skin tones is just overwhelming. So um, you can't go wrong with a pink and a peach. So I got that and they're small. The reason I like them for my kit, small and they're squeezy tubes. So they're really easy to dispense and they're sanitary. So I'm gonna slide, slide this as well in that like makeup binder book that I have, which I'll put a picture up so you guys can see or a video clip. I, I have it on my Instagram. I was all up in that mini section in the front because that's where all the, like, the smaller, more affordable items are, especially a lot of these are new brands I haven't tried. So I got the Kosas Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer in shade 03W. So obviously they don't have all of the shades in the minis. It's probably the most popular ones. So I bought this for me as like a highlighting concealer that I can travel with because again, I'm trying to cut space down and I don't use a ton of makeup, like especially when I travel, but I don't want to take up a whole bag. So this is like a small size, which is nice. It's actually bigger than I thought it would be. So I bought it as my under eye highlight. Um, I swatched it in store and so I wish they had Instead of 03W, they had like the number four, but it'll work. Um, I got the um, Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick, the full size, because I've heard a lot of great things about this. I have a couple of like cream bronzers that I'm not vibing with right now. I have one from LIS, which I feel like it's too dark for me. Bought at the makeup show because they had like sold out of all the shades. They're all sold out. At, they were sold out at the Sephora store here in Atlanta too. Um, and then I was using Danessa Myrick's, like one of those um, vision cover kind of liquid ones, but it's really old. And then I have one from Merit Beauty, but that's like my travel one, which I love that one too, but it's more sheer. So I got the shade Always Sunny. And I'm excited about this because I feel like this is going to make my makeup application way faster in the morning. And it's definitely a balm, which I like. So it kind of is easy to apply. It doesn't take over the place. And then last two, I also got the Kosas Pillowy shade and the sheer and the transparent, oh, I'm sorry, the cloud set and shade Pillowy. So for my travel makeup, 
<laughs> and then, um, oh, it's so cute. I needed a travel powder. Super cute. I thought this was a good center shade. I'm almost done. And then I got, lastly from here, this is a Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush. And this is the, whoa, I got the full size. I thought this was the mini. Oh no, this might have to be a return. Shoot. Well, I don't know, maybe I'll try it to keep it for myself. It's but I got the pale pink. I think I'm about to return this so because I didn't mean to get the big one. All right, that's okay. All right, and really quick, what I got online. Um, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll wait to get this shipped, but I got um, some Hourglass Mini Concealers, the ones that aren't available on the Hourglass site. They're, the minis are $18, so I got the shade CPL5, which is very popular. Like I already know because I recommend that to my clients a lot. It's kind of like for medium skin tones as like a highlight. Um, I got the Dior Backstage Glow Palette. Do you see that? The famous palette with the four shades because I needed to really slim down my powder highlighters because I have like two compacts from Too Faced right now, which are super chunky. I bought myself the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick and Pillow Pure Hollywood because I wanted my personal, I wanted a pinky nude because like my Holy Grail from Alcone, which is Creme Brulee, I, can't, I, I don't know if they stopped making it, but I bought it at the makeup show and it was not the same. Um, like I said, I got the mini liquid luminizer and flaunt, the bronzy shade. I also got Hourglass Concealers in June 7.5, which is a little bit more like the highlight for deeper skin tones, 8.5 even darker. And then I got the, see, I ordered the Rare Beauty Mini Pinch Blush. Did this, did I just accidentally get this? This is a shade Bliss. Yeah, I got the mini blush in Hope, which is what I wanted to get. So I don't know what happened there. Yeah, and I ordered some samples, and I actually used 500 points to get a Laneige mini kit, which I've been wanting to try to put in my kit for lip hydration and for myself. So that is it for my haul. I will be doing more videos. Definitely will do a get ready with me so you guys can see some of these new products as well as the kit update. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao, fellas.